How annoying is this? Man, it's my second cold this month. <laughs> but nevertheless, we should do a little bit of work here. So um, I had a question uh, many, many times uh, in relation to the video that I did about remote ID. And uh, a lot of you still have the old drones uh, like uh, yeah, the Phantom series and uh, all of the other stuff and uh, also the Mavic 2 series that all of them are using the Go4 app and uh, I still have my Mavic 2 Pro here so uh, I kind of heard a rumor that uh, there should be an update in circulation that uh, would allow us to uh, enable remote ID on that one as well so I tried to resurrect <laughs> the old smart controller that took a while it's no uh, secret that I've never been a big fan of, uh, of that controller that's for sure but let's just see if we can hook everything up and see if there is an update available for this so man that's a long time since I've had this drone out of the back and uh, It's still one of my favorite drones, uh, yeah, during the time. It was such an amazing uh, piece of equipment there when it came out. Let's just try and put it, yeah, so you can see it. See? Yeah, that's actually kind of quite amazing. I haven't been touching this drone for, I don't know, best part of uh, one and a half year, but look at this. Look at this. It's still more than half full on the battery. <laughs> Not something that could be said with the smart controller, that's for sure. That was completely dead and had to be resurrected with the Air 3 supercharger. And even with that one, uh, uh, even with this charger, with this one, which is 100 watts, um, it still complained a lot that uh, there was not enough power present to uh, to charge it. So, but it seems it has been doing its thing. So, and uh, it's uh, basically the same. Even if I use uh, the smart controller or if I use uh, the old, uh, what is it called, RCN one? I think yeah, it's called with the smartphone on top. That should be the same. So let's just try and fire it out and see what happens. Mm. I actually can still fly this drone, even though it does not have a C marking, I can fly it under something that's called STS-03, which is uh, something that I can do. And others with the, um, that had sort of the certificate under, yeah, prior to 2020. Um, we could apply for this, at least in Denmark, to uh, be able to still fly with this drone. Ah. Okay, so <laughs> it cheated me. So you see, there's only one bar left now. So maybe I will not be allowed yeah, to hook it up. Let's just see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's that? What is going on here? Connect. Yeah, two. You see anything here? <laughs> So see what we have here. We have the Mini 2, uh, Mavic 2 Pro. So now it switches to that one. So pressing the link button on uh, the aircraft to continue. Yes, ma'am. Ah, the link button is actually not there. It's here somewhere, if I recall. That's just on the newer drones that we use. <laughs> so, yeah, 
DJI Go 4. That's such a long time since we have been doing this. It's amazing how uh, you forget. You know, right now it's a, uh, yeah, you would just mess around with them. Uh, so right now you just mess around with the power button and use that to, to sort of hook everything up. But, but I, I think I need to, uh, yeah, I can at least update the fly safe database here. I saw there was a new firm, firmware available, but I'm not sure that I'm getting uh, to install that because uh, of the battery is uh, so low as it is on the drone. So maybe, uh, yeah, I would just need to go and sneeze my nose and uh, <laughs> get a little bit of a charge on that one before we can continue. So, <laughs> as a new firmware available, um, at least we need to somehow get that one down. Let's see what it says. It says, added support for remote ID in the United States. And latest version. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, okay. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if that will actually enable us to, uh, yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see if that is a... Uh, <sighs> You're not getting that much editing today, I promise you. <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see if uh, this remote ID thingy that is enabled in the US will also allow us to use it here in Europe. So uh, let me just get everything a little bit charged here before we can uh, start updating uh, the drone. And as expected, uh, I'm not allowed to update the drone because the battery is lower than 40%. So uh, I would need to do some recharging and then I will get back to you. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. This is from the time before we had a, a, a USB-C connection to this. Crazy. So I need to pull out this old charger to do this. We might as well take it for a spin tomorrow. <laughs> and get everything charged. Sometimes you don't realize how much easier things have gotten until you sort of go back and try it the old fashioned way. So, so now these are charging. Be right back. I kind of wonder if uh, I could uh, charge the drone directly uh, through the USB-C. Um, I know we can do that on the newer drones, but I'm not sure that we always have been possible to do that. But let me just try it. So, now I've hooked it in. Nothing is happening. And it is powered out here. So, so I guess this is not an option. So. All right, we are fully charged. Start the screen recorder to be sure that we have everything. Start the Go4 app. It's checking the firmware. Start the Go4 app. And then we're getting the new firmware. Checking the firmware. And start updating. And then we're getting the new firmware. 
so now it's doing its thing be right back manual restart aircraft Safety, safety, da da da. So, let's just start the screen recorder. Okay, so if we go under the three dots here uh, and we press the aircraft, we have identification and flight information. So basically, it's a problem that it says that it can only be 10 characters, but as I see it, let's just try it here. Ten. You see, there could be a lot more in here. So we can basically type in the remote ID that um, I have received from the local uh, traffic authorities. Oops. And then I'm adding the security code here behind. Right now that will just be three dots because I don't want you to know the security code because that's my warranty that nobody steals uh, my uh, remote ID and starts to fly with that. At least that will allow the authorities to do a, ver a proper verification that it's me that's flying. So um, that's what the security code is uh, purposed for. You can just say Henrik Olsen if you want that. And we can say Mavic Magic Magic. It was magic at some point. To Pro. Oh. Pro. All right. So my OCD tells me that I want this on the next line. So, like that. Then I need to, oh, yeah, waka, 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 wow, wow. Okay, still there, then apply. So at least for Europe, this seems to be a problem. So that's kind of a bummer. It doesn't work for Europe. But at least it will show you how to enter these uh, for the US. And that's also what the firmware said, that this was an update, uh, yeah, sort of catering for remote ID in the US. But as it is right now, you, at least I haven't found a way to do this, maybe. I don't know if that is enough, that you type in uh, the, the information that the um, if you type in the information on the flight information, I guess it's not, I don't know. So remote, as it says here on the bottom, remote identification allows people on the ground nearby to understand where drones are flying and who's using them, similar to a car license plate. Yeah, entering your personal information is optional. I kind of guess that uh, this um, information here would be broadcasted, so if I I just took this uh, and uh, made a copy and put it down here instead. Nah, come on. I'm never going to be a big fan of Android, that's for sure. So, and then adding in
x x x oh that's the security code then I will remove that ID from here so hey yeah I have got this <laughs> apply successfully as I said I don't know if this is a valid solution. If it's not a valid solution, then you need to go out and purchase a plus 100 USD a remote ID module. It's quite expensive to purchase these uh, external uh, modules uh, to put on your drone. So, let me know what you think. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.